And now we're going to look at a sine graph. This is another one that has a phase shift that's not zero because I got a pi that comes after it. I also know my period will be something different than 2 pi because I got a number in front of the x here. Let's go through and see what each of these are first before we do the graph. Your amplitude is absolute value of 1 half and you get 1 half. Your period is going to be 2 pi. Formula is always 2 pi divided by b. In this case the b is the number in front of the x, it's pi. You get 2. Your phase shift is the opposite sign of this number divided by the number in front of the x. Opposite sign of that is negative pi. It was a plus, we're going to make it negative pi. If I divide that by the number in front of the x, I get negative 1. This tells me that the graph itself is going to start at negative 1. In order to find out the other places on the graph, the other key points, I've got to find my quarter point first. That way I know what to add to each one. A quarter point is going to be your period divided by 4. So I have uh, 2 over 4, that's going to be uh, 1 half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start, when I draw the graph uh, out, my first key point is going to be negative 1, but then I have to add 1 half to that. I'm adding my quarter point to find out what the next key point is. Negative 1 plus 1 half is negative 1 half. And if I do negative 1 half plus 1 half, I get 0. 0 plus 1 half is 1 half, and then I have 1 half plus 1 half is 1. All I'm doing is I'm, I'm just adding 1 half all the way across because that's my key point. So start, always start with the phase shift. The phase shift will always be where the graph begins. That's always your first key point. We add the quarter point to it, we get negative 1 half. Then from that point, I add another 1 half, and I get 0, add another 1 half, and so forth. So now that I have these complete, these, are, these right here, the negative 1 and these, those are my five key points. When I draw the graph in, I start out at negative 1, and then I have these other uh, quarter points. The next one is negative 1 half, then I have a 0, 1 half, and 1. So these are my new key points I have. So in this case, the 0 would be one of my key points that's down there. I have five of them total. It's a sine graph. Sine graphs will always begin on the x-axis. It's going to go up to 1 half and down to negative 1 half. That's going to be my amplitude in this case. So if I'm starting at this point, I have to start at negative 1. I'm not starting at 0 because the graph got shifted over to the left. Starting here, because it's a positive, I begin by going up. So my next key point is going to be up here at 1 half. Then it'll drop down, it's going to go through the origin, x-axis, it'll go down to the amplitude again, so right here it's going to actually be at this point, so at negative one half, and one half there, that's where it is, then it comes back up to the x-axis again. So the graph is going to go down and look like this. So it's our normal sine graph, it goes up, it goes down and back to here, but the only difference is the graph got moved over. Uh, to the left, and that anytime you see a plus sign in here, a plus sign inside indicates that the graph will be moving to the left. Same way that you would have seen it when you did transformations in pre-calculus, that's the same idea here. The plus there means that you move everything over to the left.